tonight we get to recognize those individuals who followed the paths of those groundbreakers and set the standards high for generations of future kickers in the game of football. Rick Sang, Rick, come on up. He's the president of ProKicker.com and the founder of the American Kicking Football Hall of Fame. Yeah, let's give Rick a round of applause. Because he's not only a really nice guy, he's awesome. He's going to join us on stage to induct the 2013 um, class into the Hall of Fame. Tonight's first honoree, he's a published author, a Chicago Tribune sports columnist, a philanthropist, an inventor, the namesake of the Fred Mitchell Award, and much, much more. I've had the honor to meet this gentleman tonight, and it has truly been an honor. For his contribution to the world of writing and sports, we honor Fred Mitchell. <laughs> Cincinnati, Ohio, Fred Mitchell grew up in Gary, Indiana. He attended Wittenberg University in Ohio, where he became the nation's top collegiate place kicker. At Wittenberg University, Mitchell lettered in football and track and was named to the Lutheran College All-America team in 1968 after setting the NCAA College Division record for career kick scoring. He was inducted into Wittenberg's Athletic Hall of Fame in 1995. Mitchell joined the Chicago Tribune in 1974 as a beat writer covering the Cubs, Bulls, and Bears, becoming the only reporter in Tribune history to handle the three major sports as a main assignment. Named in his honor, the Fred Mitchell Award is an annual national award that is given to an outstanding kicker during the National Football Foundation ceremony. The award recognizes excellence on the football field as well as community service. And there he is. It is an honor and a privilege to welcome Fred Mitchell to the stage to accept his induction into the American Football Kicking Hall of Fame. to the Augusta Sports Council and they treated me like a like a king here in the last couple of days and I really appreciate that. Thanks to the ProKicker.com and Ray Guy organization. All of you uh, have really stood out in my mind. And uh, I also want to thank a former teammate of mine uh, at Wittenberg University, Bill Noble and his wife who made the trip. My, my wife, uh, Kim, and son, Cam, Cameron, uh, were unable to make it uh, tonight, but I'm glad to have a, a former teammate and a great friend and a guy who uh, was a running back at, at Wittenberg and got me into field goal position a lot of times to have the attempts that I had. So thanks to, to Bill and, and his wife for, for being here. And uh, also Jay Spiegel at, at my table, uh, another former straight-on kicker. We feel like dinosaurs sometimes that uh, we still have our square toe shoes just in case uh, somebody might call on us. But uh, that was a, certainly a different era. Like all kickers, I think it, you know, at first uh, it comes to mind to, to thank uh, your holders and your long snappers and the guys who were so instrumental in, in the success of the kicking game. For me at, at Wittenberg, that would be uh, my holders were Gene Lofman and, and Bobby Miller uh, later, and then uh, Tim Dove was a, was a long snapper. It, one of the uh, greatest pleasures I had after I received the, the news that I was going to be inducted was to call my high school football coach, Bob Stearns, and give him the big, new, uh, big news. He's about 80 years old now, and uh, we recalled how he sort of discovered me, quote-unquote, in a physical education class, and I was uh, kicking the ball from second base over uh, 
the right field fence uh, at the age of 14, and he said immediately, "You're you're on the varsity." So uh, it was it was great to, <clears throat> to great to share the great news with him. I started out uh, very humbly uh, in my kicking. Uh, you, you, you young men that I was able to see today at the kicking camp, uh, we had no kicking camps when I was growing up. Uh, so I was you know, pretty much, pretty much self-taught. In fact, you had to uh, do a lot of makeshift uh, movements. I created a, my own goalposts because I, I would kick from my backyard into an empty lot uh, behind our house growing up in, in Gary, Indiana. And back then, uh, my parents would, would get uh, what they called wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. And people who are old enough to remember know what that was like. And they would come wrapped up in, in bamboo poles. So my parents uh, got some carpeting and left the poles out. So I used the, the bamboo poles and stuck them in the ground in the empty lot behind my house and used those for the uprights. And then for the crossbar, I used my mother's old clothesline to be the, to be the crossbar. So if I was attempting a really long kick and perhaps the ball would land on the crossbar, then the whole goalpost would collapse. But uh, to be here today after memories like that uh, is really special. And I, I, once again, I want to thank everyone associated, associated with this award. I'd like to congratulate all of you uh, high school honorees as, as well as the other uh, inductees into the Kicking Hall of Fame. And uh, I accept this on behalf of all the great square toe kickers with a lot of pride and great humility. And thank you so much. Appreciate this.